Okay, our team says understanding our victory in Christ. And we have talked about it over and over again. And we have defined what is victory. You know, victory is when you have a contest, when you have a, um, a fight. And you overcome and you win your enemy. So you are said to have victory. Amen. Once you have won him, you have won him. So it's recorded, it is recorded that you have won him. So our victory in Christ is recorded. Amen. It's recorded that we have won the devil. We have overcome all things. So there's nothing I can clean it up. It's like um, a wrestler who beats his opponents. I know they've been preparing for a long time and he beats opponents. And it's going to be a record I beat him. <laughs> Praise God. But um, for him to keep his victory going, it depends on him. Praise God. But to be a record, it's, it's, it's defeated him. But for him to keep his victory going, it depends. He's going to have another victory again, another fight again. He has not again. So if you go and relax and not put up effort and do some gym and do some workout, if you go a second time, the other one might beat him again. There will also be a record. Amen. So that's what happened to Christians who are not practicing. What I call non practitioners who don't practice. Who don't know what they need to do. So I want to talk about this mystery more during the three days. Um, why some Christians don't walk in the victory they're supposed to walk in. That will be three days. So, but for now, let's look at it. So that's the victory. And uh, I want to talk about a topic which I call the records and witnesses. The records and witnesses. And I picked this, that very phrase from, um, or those words from First John chapter 5 verse 6 to 9. Give me that First John chapter 5 verse 6 to 9. Be fast about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is he that came by water. I want to also explain that part came by water means that God revealed his son by water. So um, as I said before, some say it's by baptism, but as I begin to study, I know it's beyond that. Amen. And then by blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water. You can go and sit down there. So later, you can sit there, later you can come over here to help us. Amen. Thank you so much. So you can not be bending your head. <laughs> God bless you. Amen. So, not by water only, but by water and blood. It is the spirit that bears witness because of the spirit is truth. For there are three, there are there are three that bear record. So I picked that word record from here. That bear record in heaven. The next one, the Father, the Son, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. So God, God Father, Son, and Holy Ghost bear record in heaven. They keep record. That's a record in heaven, and they're keeping the record. And also in three in one. And there are three that bear, bear witness on earth. So you're wondering, why do we have record in heaven and witness on earth? There are two different things. Amen. Amen. Why would you have record in heaven and witness here? Why not record, record? Why not witness, witness? So that's actually where I'm going. Um, but these are things that ensure our victories. So or keeps our victory going. Uh, in that, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three things agree in one. If you receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God which he had testified of his son. Amen. Praise the Lord. So my particular attention is drawn on that record in heaven and witness on this earth. So that's where I'm, I'm actually interested in going. Um, first of all, let us define, you can take it off now, let's define what is a record. Record, a thing constituting a piece of evidence about the past. A thing constituting a piece of evidence about the past, especially an account kept in writing or some other permanent form. Amen. That's record. And now, differential for record, this is a dictionary meaning actually, and set down in writing or some other permanent form for other relevant reference, especially officially. Okay, so here we see that a record is a piece of evidence. Things that have happened and the past, the past could present, but it's recorded that something has happened. So it's documented. It's a document. So a record is document. So number two, witness. What's a witness? A witness is a person who sees an event, typically a crime or an accident take place. So we can see we have record. Record in the sense that God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost have recorded what took place in heaven. Because something transpired before we became witness on this earth. So three of them bear, bear record of those things that transpired. And what is that transpired? And why are we witnesses? 
Why is Holy Ghost witnessing for us? And we are also witnesses. We are also witnesses too. Holy Ghost is a witness. We are witnesses too. So number one, why do we talk about recording heaven? Praise God. You see, this victory is already won even before the foundation of the earth. Point number one, this victory we're talking about is already won. The fact that Jesus came and died for us physically here, he died already before coming to die. Hope you know that. If you go to, let me refer you to something, because of Revelation chapter 5, take me to Revelation chapter 5, first of all, 9 to 10. Revelation chapter 5, verses 9 to 10. Help us open the door. So, but however, let me So, look at it, look up. And they sung a new song that thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof, for thou was slain. You see that thou was slain and has redeemed us to glory to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue, people and nations, and had made us our God, our God kings, made us unto our God kings and priests, which are written on earth. So, we can see that here that Jesus at this point was slain. Was slain. Now to, now to make it clearer, if you go to Revelation chapter chapter 13, verse 8. Give me Revelation 13, verse 8. So the event is taking place here. Look at what it says. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose name are written and not written in the book of life. The lamb was slain, lamb of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. It means that something happened from the foundation of the world. Something has already happened. So the only Persons that bore record, that knew what happened, was God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. These are three that bore record. That before Christ actually came on this earth to die for man, he died already. So Christ came to die, even though he had died spiritually. Now, I gave us what I told us what really happened that the three of them took counsel, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and then because they knew that man would fall. Man will fall when man will come on this earth. So three of them took counsel. Since man will fall, we are made man to be in our own image and likeness, and man will certainly fall. Because if you say God did not know man will fall, then you are saying God is not omnipresent on the of the science. So he knows all things. He knew man will fall. So what did he do? Three of them came and took a counsel and said, since man will fall, let us make a provision for redemption. So when they said that, they all agree that the son should come and die. Then they said, son, die. He died. Am I coming to it's, it's a cancer, it's a meeting they had. He died. You know, God is not the way you look at him. It's, it's something, when, when he says something, now it happens immediately. Even though it might take 20 years, 30 years for it to evolve and come to pass physically, when God says something, now it happens now. See, they say, son, you will die. He died. Am I making sense? So, that is the mystery behind him. Immediately he died. So, the virtue of that, his blood was shedded. What will happen in future, shed not God, Christ's blood was shedded in heaven already. Am I communicating? So, blood was shedded before blood was shedded. So, based on that, the only three persons that were dead when it happened was God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So, they bore record and they agree. So, am I communicating? Look what the Bible says in uh, Hebrew chapter 9, verse 22. Hebrew 9, verse 22. Hebrew 9, give me Hebrew 9, verse 22. So, Malay Gadaba, almost all things are by the Lord purged with the blood. The Bible says, without shedding of the blood, there is no remission of sin. So we can see here that the blood of Jesus needed of a necessity to be shedded even before the war began for the remission of sin. Am I making sense? So that these are records, these are what happened in heaven. And the only people that bore witness to this God, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, who knew what happened and mixed them amongst them in heaven. So three of them bore record in heaven. A man come get him. So if there's no shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. That was why, as I've already made the argument, that was why um, Auntie Jay, um, Michael and his entourage were able to defeat Lucifer when they, when they rebelled against God because they drew the strength from the blood that was shedded. Because there's no, there, there's no way they can overcome him because we're wondering where did they get the blood to overcome Satan? Where did they get the blood to throw him down? I would say they overcame them by the blood. Which blood? From where? So if there was no blood shedded, how could they have had blood to overcome? Am I making sense? So that means that was the blood that was shedded. So they were able to trap strength from the blood and then drove away Lucifer. Now, if blood was not shedded, there was no way Ajay Michael could drive out Lucifer. Lucifer's by ranking was the same equal. The princes, they were equal with Michael. So there was no way Michael could summon strength and stature to defeat Lucifer. So he defeated him only by the edge of the blood. But they go by equal rank. Lucifer and Michael, they are all chief princes. So you cannot go and beat your, beat your, like your colleague in school. <laughs> Two of you are the same class. 
a man coming against him. So the only thing that made him to defeat him was the blood. About the word of a testimony. But I'm not talking about what testimony during the three days that fast. So, but the blood, I'm, I'm focusing on the blood most, mostly today. So, by the blood, they were able to defeat, you know, and pull all of them to third majority, to third. So, am I coming getting, is it to third, one third? <laughs> one third, sorry. How could say to third? <laughs> one third of the So, one third. So, they pushed them down. Why did they do that? The blood. Amen. Amen. So we can see this are records that were that, were, that was born in heaven, and these records were documented. So we have a document. Remember our definition of document: that documents are piece of writing of an evidence. What has happened? A thing consisting a piece of evidence about past, actually an account kept in writing or some other permanent form. So that means the records were kept in writing, and that's what Revelation gave us, gave us revelation that hey, this was done in heaven. And these are three that bore record. Who knew they when it happened? Amen. Amen. Having known that, let's go to the other side of it, part two, which is witness. Why do we, I don't know what I'm teaching today, sir. <laughs> so, well, amen. So, why do we talk about witnesses? Why, do, why not we be a record? Because the record has already been established. That's what today you have the Bible in your hands. The Bible is a legal document, documenting the fact that something happened and it is recorded. Recorded. Something happened, recorded, recorded. So you have the record in your hands. You have the Bible, a legal document in your hands. Am I coming get it? Shall I have my Bible? I have my legal documents. I have the record that Jesus died before he came to die on earth. Amen. But, okay, why, are we, why, are we, why do we have witnesses? Now, if you go to Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11, give me Leviticus 17, verse 11. Okay. Bible says, for the life of the flesh in, is in the blood, and I've given it to you upon the altar to make an atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the souls. So, it, God, God said here that the life of every flesh is in the blood, and I've given it to you upon the altar to make atonement. So, since he died, Jesus died, and then he was to die again physically, there needed to be a witness to witness that what happened in heaven also happened on earth. Am I communicating? So he gave us the same blood that was shed for an atonement, but he needed to come and die physically to be able to agree with what was recorded in heaven. Amen. Bible says in Matthew chapter 27, verse 50. Give me Matthew 27, verse 50. Uh, to, to, to 56, just to give an account that happened on earth, and then we were witnesses. People that were there were witnesses. The Bible says here that Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the Holy Ghost, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from top to bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints. The next one, next one, the saints, and which slept arose. You see that these are witnesses. Even the saints who had died also arose because he died on the cross and came and came out of the grave after his resurrection and went into the holy city, appeared unto many. Now, when the centurion, centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus was um, saw the earthquake, and those things say they saw the earthquake, those things that we had done, they fear greatly. You can see witnesses. People that were there who saw actually what took place. These are witnesses. Even the dead rose are witnesses. So many witnesses. And the Bible says, yeah, truly, this was the Son of God. And many women were, were there beholding afar off, which followed Jesus. You see, many women also behold afar off from, from Galilee, ministering to him, among which was many Madalini, many mother of James, G, uh, Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's children. See, you can stop there. So you can see, I'm reading that place to show you witnesses. These are earthly witnesses. We have record in heaven that Jesus did die before coming here. We also have record on it because our witness on it, people they saw it when it happened. And we define here that very clearly that witness means that a person who sees an event, typically a crime, an accident take place. So we have these witnesses who saw when Jesus actually died. So we have record in heavens that Jesus actually died before the war began. We also have rec witness on it that people saw him when he actually died. Am I communicating? <laughs> I'm just teaching today. I know what I'm teaching today as well. <laughs> Praise God. Something comes upon me like that. So, so we are seeing here that right at this point that there's a price. Price. A price involved in these two accounts. Record in heaven, a witness on earth. A price was paid. And that price is the blood. Am I making sense? That price is the word? The blood. So, and just as you, so blood is now a currency. Blood is a heavenly currency. 
by which you and I were able to transact things. So, transaction took place in heaven, transaction took place on earth by a price called the blood. Ha. That's why no, no devil can stop your mess with you because you have been purchased with a priceless thing called blood, currency called blood. Uh, in heaven, priceless, on earth, uh, priceless. Am I communicating? No one can just mess with you anyhow because the priceless commodity, sorry, priceless currency was given for your sake. Am I communicating? Therefore, nobody can mess with you. <laughs> Say no one can mess with me. And it was said here that your, your sin was not, you were not, your sin was not cancelled, it was paid for. I want to make that very quickly, very quick something. It was not cancelled. God didn't just cancel your sin. He, it was paid for. Someone paid for it. And the blood was what paid for it. That's why, as I said before last time, when you are praying, I say, blood of Jesus. You say blood of Jesus, you disappear from the sin. Where about the spirit, you have disappeared. The person... God sees in Jesus. Am I communicating? Because of the, 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 the factor of substitution. Substitution. Because he died in your place. He took your place. So, substitutionary measure demands that when you mention the blood of Jesus, disappear from the sin. I mean, it might not be literally what I'm saying, but in the realm of the spirit, the person God is seeing is Jesus. Because of the substitutionary measure that Jesus took on the cross of Calvary. He died. You were him when he was killed. You were him when he was buried. When he was, you were him. So he took your place and he took his place. So became our solution. And the price he paid to do that is his blood. Blood of Jesus. <laughs> Come on, clap for Jesus for dying for us. Sir. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for paying the blood, paying that. Now, I want to make some, some, some things clear here. By his death, a few things happened. I'm trying to rush now. By his death, a few things happened. Number one, redemption took place. Redemption, what does it mean to redeem? It means to buy back. It means to regain. It means to retake. By this death, by the offering, by the death of Jesus, both in heaven and on earth, by the, by the, by the price he offered with the blood, three things happen. Number one, redemption. You were a sinner. Now you are redeemed. You have been bought back. In other words, you were committing sin. Things were going wrong. But Jesus bought you back. Jesus purchased you with a priceless currency called the blood. Am I communicating? You are bought back. You are bought back. You are purchased. You are not just ordinary. Something bought you back, which is the blood of Jesus. That's why I know that devil trying to mess with you cannot succeed anymore because you have been redeemed. You have been bought back. You have been redeemed. You have been taken from the hands of the devil that was transferred to place by our forefathers who handed our life to handle us to Satan. But by the virtue of the blood of Jesus, you have been bought back. Therefore, devil cannot stop you. Devil cannot, cannot, cannot just take you anyhow, take you on a way Sam, because you have been bought with the blood of Jesus. Sam. That's why I know we serve the true living God Sam, who they same yesterday, they same today, they say forevermore. If God has done this for them, it's your turn. Sam. I say it's your turn. Shot have been purchased by the blood. Friends, you're not ordinary. Your husband is not ordinary. Your wife is not ordinary. You have been purchased by the blood. Am I communicating? Shut I am redeemed. Because of time, I won't go to scripture because I'm trying to rush right now. You have been bought back. So, everything that transacted before Jesus came to die to tell you on earth that Adam and Eve did on our behalf because Adam and Eve represented us. They were just like representative of humankind, of humanity. So, whatever they did also... No, happen to us. So, if they sin, we also sin. Whatever they did, because of the bloodline, I won't go to that because of time. So, because of the bloodline, that's why the same way, if you are born in family, you carry the bloodline. So, because we are through the bloodline of Adam and Eve, so we carry whatever that happens. So, by virtue of that, we have sinned. We are falling short of the glory of God. But when Jesus came and died, he redeemed us back, took us from the hands of Satan, powers of darkness, powers of cause and evil. Therefore, today, you are not free because we have been purchased back. Am I communicating? Not Number two, justification. By the death of Jesus, there is justification. Now, I'm doing this because we're talking about our understanding the victory we have in Christ. And these are things that guarantee our victory. These are things that make us to stand as Christians, as born again as Christians. And our victories are sure that we have redeemed to a devil has no power over us. Have that mindset that you God has redeemed you. No devil can stop you. No witch can stop you. No power can stop you because you have been repurchased and redeemed, reclaimed from the powers of darkness. Um, therefore, you are free. I say you are free in the name of Jesus. Um, not just buying you back. Um, he has also justified you. <laughs> it means that justice came to play. At this point in time, 
devil has a rat, God has a rat. At this point, justification protects you from rats. Rat from, from God himself, rat from devil himself. <laughs> Am I because Justification is very powerful. Though. Two of them, God was angry. Devil is angry that God did this, did that. And then, and then you are in between. God's realm will fall upon you. Satan's realm will fall upon you. So justification is, is protecting you from rats. So if God comes to say, hey, what's the blood of Jesus? God says, okay, it's okay, it's over. <laughs> I'm not going to get him. When Satan comes to, 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 to attack you, blood of Jesus, he also goes back. So just because you protection against rats. Rat of God, rat of Satan. Praise the Lord. <laughs> ah, yeah, God, 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 God. So by so do you and I have been proved righteous, very righteous, very righteous. Sir. We have been proved not guilty, not guilty. No, but I'm not guilty anymore because someone died on my behalf. Shout, I am justified. I've been discharged, 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 and acquitted. No more, no more can put any sin against if you see it committed in the past, and the consequence of the sin committed have been taken away. Listen, sin committed and the consequences. I don't have time to I have scripture because of time brushing. Sins committed and the consequences of sin have been taken away. You have been justified. So the devil cannot put anything on you anymore. And God cannot be angry with you anymore. So God is no more angry. Shall God is not angry with me? Shall God is not angry with me? I thought you'd be clapping by now. God is no more angry with you. Am I communicating? No more angry. No more angry with you. Because you have been justified. The justification protects you from protects you from wrath, from, from, from any devil dealing with you. So you are free. Shut I am free. Number three. This same thing. No, no, this death of Jesus all brought us sanctification. 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 I want to read a place very quickly. Uh, let me read. It's not there, but let's. Uh, Okay, you know, I have to leave because of time. I'm rushing. So, it also brings us sanctification. In other words, by, by the measure of sanctification, you and I are now living in the holiness of God. Sanctification. What would you call immediate sanctification? Um, gradual sanctification or continuous sanctification. Sanctification means that immediately you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you are now put in the holiness of God. You are now put in his righteousness. So, you are sanctified. You are set apart for God. So, other things you do as you go about living your life, you have to be careful to practice righteousness. These are continuous sanctification. But you have immediate sanctification that now you are in Christ. You have, a, you have confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are now sanctified. In the sight of heaven, in the sight of God, you are now sanctified. You are holy. Am I coming to that thing you say, Father, I receive you as my Lord and Savior? It's not ordinary. It brings justification, it brings redemption, it brings sanctification. And then also have what they call gradual sanctification or continuous sanctification. Am I communicating? So that one, um, last one, because of time, the other one talks about glorification or inheritance. I don't have time to go into that. It talks about now that you are sanctified, you are meant to be glorified. The main thing is that you have the rights in Christ. Huh? That now you are not just ordinary, you are now seated in Christ, with Christ in the heavenly places. So, you are seated far above powers of darkness, manipulators man over us. Far above, you are seated up there. So, where you are, devil cannot go there. <laughs> Am I communicating? That is glorification. You have been glorified. Um. You are not just sanctified, but you are glorified. Um. Where you are today, as you might be, see, you might be seeing, you might be seeing you sitting down there. You are not you sitting down there. <laughs> Am I communicating? It's just your physical body here. But your spirit man is seated with Christ um, in heavenly places. Um. And where you are, no one can go there. No devil can go there. Far above um, powers of darkness. Um. Shout, I am seated. Um. Shout, I am well seated um, in heavenly places. Um. No witch can touch you. No devil can go there. No witch can go there. No power can go there. Where you are seated, devil cannot go there. Evil sickness cannot go there. Disease cannot go there. Shout, I am glorified in Christ. Um. I am glorified in Christ. Um. I am glorified in Christ. Far above principles and powers, far above sickness and disease, far above infirmity, I am glorified. That is my inheritance. That is your inheritance. Am I communicating with service to a living God? With the same yesterday, the same today, the same forevermore. If God has done it for us, it's your turn. I say it's your turn. I shout, it's my turn. Very quickly, in few minutes, please give me a few few minutes. I'll be done. Okay, now see, if this victory has been won, battles won, everything done, why then sometimes we see ourselves entangled? 
having issues here and there. Does it mean that our victory is not assured? It is, is, is cancelled or is not assured anymore? No. I will tell you something very quickly. You see, oh, time, there's no time. Now, you see, I didn't know the whole thing, the whole document, records and witnesses that we have seen here, by so doing, record the heaven, witness on this earth. Then we have a submission. Am I correct? We have a submission. <laughs> it's called submission in a jurisdiction. You see, I've all told us that the, the issue of prayer is a, a court system. Because talk about petitioning, prayer, these are court words. Judicial words, court, when you talk about petitioning, I bring my petition, I do prayer, I pray the Lord court, I pray the my Lord, whatever. These are legal terms. Because the scripture we deal with is are legal terms. The Bible is a legal term. It document, records documented. Witnesses, eyewitnesses, you know, you can't go to law court without having a record. Evidence. You can't go to law without having witnesses. So, both combined, both the record and witnesses make it a legal document. Am I coming So, by so doing, the court will arrive at a submission. So, what is our submission? And that's why each time we are being, you know, something happened against the constitution, we shout, which we call prayer. Look at Bible says, uh, let me just, because of time, we we'll use scripture. Because, okay, let me just use one scripture. Give me Hebrew 5, 7 to 8. Just because of time. Give me Hebrew 5, 7 to 8. I will talk more of this during the course of our three days, please. Be here. Hebrew 5, 7 to 8. Masuka Tala Bragadosha. Zebra. Are you, do you have it there? Hebrew 5, 7 to 8. Okay. Seven to eight. Give me seven first. Give me seven. Hebrew five. Am I right? Seven to eight. Give me seven. Just go back. You can't get it? Would you help him? Let me just read them. Um, is it there? No. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, 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 yes. You have it now? Uh -uh. Hey, amen. Who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered prayers, these are legal words, and supplication with strong crying and tears, unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard, heard in that he feared. Now we can see here, he, in the of his flesh, he offered prayers, supplications. These are legal words. Because if there's no, there's, if there's no court session going on, you will use the word prayer or supplications. Because these are prayer, these are legal words. With strong crying. So we'll be wondering, why do we still pray? Since the victory has come already, we, why do we shout and scream and say, Oh God, help me, blood of Jesus. Why? Because, I will show you reasons, there are a few reasons why, why we still cry and pray. Because this is already done. Documents, legal document established. We have the Bible as a legal document. We have, a re we have the records. We have eyewitnesses that this actually happened. Then why do we see cry? Even sometimes strong crying. We fast and pray and cry. Am I coming? Am I coming? Why do we see do that? I'll give you a few reasons now. And you can see if you just cry, even if you cried. Now, let me give you a few reasons. Can I take it off now? Give you a few reasons so we can pray. Pay attention because I'm about to close now. Number one reason why we see cry is this. Pay attention. This is very important than the other ones I've shared. I mean, they're all important. Amen. <laughs> when there was, sorry, there was a case of a murder. There was a murder case. I might come again. Because if someone dies physically, natural death, nobody will bring a case. But this time Jesus was killed. Blood shedded. Somebody stabbed. Am I making sense? So that's a case. Someone was murdered. His name is called Jesus. Blood was shedded. So there's a case established. So if after all these cases established, legal document established, a record established, witness established, we have a Bible, and the devil is trying to go and, and then refuse to obey the court order. We bring a case up. Hey, man, this case was established because somebody shed his blood. Blood was involved. If somebody just died, you won't bring a case, right? You can't just somebody just die naturally, nobody brings a case. But once somebody is killed, somebody, is, somebody died, somebody killed somebody, a case comes up. So it became a case, it remember the spirit because somebody killed Jesus. He died because of you. Blood was shedded. If not so, crack will just say, okay, I'm done, you know, I'm done, you know, boom. <laughs> Why did you allow someone to kill him? It's a such a case. So we have a case at hand that we settled in law court. You need court jurisdiction that hey, somebody killed was killed because of somebody. So case settled. 
So if you bring anything against the person for which he was killed for, the law is against you. Are you see where I'm going now? That's why we pray and cry. Oh God, this part of Jesus died for us. And this Satan is working against us. Oh God, help us. You see, you are making a case. You are bringing the death of Jesus to a rhizom. You are bringing Jesus' death to a sin. Look, somebody died for me. It's a case of murder. And that case was established that Christ was murdered. In the law court, they were established was murdered for my sake. Therefore, why should you come and deal with me? Why should you come and make me, you know, give me sickness or disease? I cannot be sick because someone died for me. I'm not coming against it. I cannot be have pain because someone died for me. I cannot have things working against me and my children because somebody died for me. That was a murder case. I'm not coming against shout out, have a case. <laughs> case, case number two. Number two, very quickly. Jesus. Jesus was given for a ransom. You know, when someone is, uh, when people kidnap, kidnap people, they say, bring ransom. So Jesus is our ransom. The currency for which somebody holding you released you. Am I making sense? So, since he's your ransom, it is illegal and anti scripture for anyone, anti court court submission, court order, court judgment, for anyone to come and see arrest you again because a ransom has been paid for you. Am I, am I making sense? So, because someone has become your ransom, that kidnapper or that devil cannot touch you again. So, you can make a case and say, Jesus became my ransom. So why should you come and touch me? Why should, you, why should you come and put sickness on me? Why should I be poor? Why should I go through evil? Why should I go through failure? You have a case to make. He was killed. He became a ransom. So these are cases to me. That's why we pray and cry. Because when we, that's why if we have won this battle, we see the devil coming to mess with us. Things messing with us. We cry. We shout. Why? That's an injustice. That's the case that we see bring against us, against the court judgment. Am I making sense? Against the ransom. Why will you come and bring me failure, sickness, or disease when the ransom has been paid on my behalf? He said himself to confirm me some power sicknesses. Why should I be sick when the ransom has been paid for me? Why should I go to evil when somebody has died for me and paid everything for me? So that's why we pray and cry. If you want, why do people pray and cry? Because they are saying, hey, a court has been established, a judgment has been established, but someone is trying to take our judgment away. So we pray and cry. Oh God, help us. Help us. No, but the matter is, Oh, my time is gone quickly. But in case, we already said there's a record in heaven, happiness on earth. No, but for case, a transaction was finalized. So we have finalized this transaction, so devil cannot accuse you. This transaction has been finalized. It's not, I'm not just going to, the case has been brought before the court, and it has been finalized. That's why I know no devil can come and finalize you because things have already been done. <laughs> Am I complicating? Case number five. Number five says, okay, that one says we have been discharged and acquitted. If someone discharged, I had a situation many years ago when um, somebody lied against us, whatever, whatever. We went to court, that was in Nigeria, and then um, and we were discharged and acquitted. Now, the lawyer told me I should run from the premises after the court was in my favor. That was in Nigeria, you no, know, many years ago. We went to pray somewhere, they come and said something, something, something. So, <laughs> so we now had a court session. So, after the court said that we didn't do anything wrong, we came to pray. We didn't do anything wrong. We said, well, I guess we came to do something. So, so the lawyer now, the, the judge now discharged us, acquitted us. So, the, our lawyer said, as soon as they say you are discharged, run. Don't stay within the premises because they can rearrest you and put something on you again. <laughs> so, I said, wow, that's true. Nearly we finished, bro. Me and my prayer people, we're not on the place. The man will come see us. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So that means you can be rearrested. If you don't know your right, you can be rearrested. That's why we see people going, still going through things for which Christ has died for them. They were rearrested. They were rearrested. So, but the fact remains that that's why you can say go to court of appeal. That's why appeal is meant there for to go to court of appeal and say, hey, I was discharged by lower court, but this man came to arrest me, make an appeal. So that's how we come to pray. Father, we are appealing, help us. <laughs> pray, help us. Why should I be sick for this long? Why should I go through this for this long? Even though Christ has died for me, why should I be having failure for this long? Oh, help us. We are appealing, help us. The court has established your judgment that we are free. We are to be discharged. Am I making sense? <laughs> Am I communicating? Am I communicating? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, God said, the life is in the blood. Don't touch life in the blood. So, anyone that tries to touch you is touching life in the blood of Christ. But let me know, because I won't go there. No, my, my, um, let me use two more. You see, 
when you punish the innocent, the innocent have rights to cry. That's why Cain killed Abel. Abel was innocent. The blood cried. So, the blood of Jesus Christ was shed. He was killed by murder. They killed him for the sake of a salvation. So, that's why the blood of Jesus Christ is crying. Because he was, he was killed innocently. So, the person he died for has a right to come and claim deliverance because he died innocently for you. So, his blood is crying because he died innocently. Am I making sense? If the final case I want to make is the guiltless is made guilty. So that the guilty can make guiltless. Do you get the English I've said, spoken now? The guiltless is made guilty. So the guiltless the guiltless is made guilty. So the guilty can make guiltless. So Jesus Christ was guiltless who was made guilty. So that you and I who are guilty can be guiltless. Praise God. So because of that we cry. We pray. So this are the submission we have, final submission, that's based on the court judgment. Based on the court judgment and the sacrifice we have, Christ has done everything for us. Therefore, the devil cannot tamper with our victory. Am I making sense? Did that make sense? Devil cannot tamper with your victory. You can go to the appeal court. So the more you pray, the more you are appealing. Am I communicating? Of course, our victory is already gone to Supreme Court. <laughs> done already, finally done. Finally, amen. But we still pray. It's like appealing. Hey, this is what is done for me. Why are you see attacking me? Why are you see doing this to me? Why are you see doing this to me? You pray and pray and fast. But I pray that as you appeal your case before God, uh, no devil can stop you, no wish can stop you, no power can stop you. Shout, I am free. Jesus died for me. Jesus died for me. He was guiltless, he became guilty before my sake. Uh, that me that was guilty become guiltless. Uh, jump on your feet. Uh, that's why I know no devil can stop me. No wish can stop me. No power can stop me. Ah, uh, yeah, bragado sakaba jump on your feet. I uh, have a I have a case. Jesus was killed for me. He died for me. Therefore, I have a case. You cannot touch me because Jesus was killed for me. He he died for my sake. He shed the blood for my sake. His blood was shed for me that I may live. I have a case. Have a, do you have a case? Do you have a case? Do you have a case? Make your case. Make your case before God. Make your case. 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 It's time to make you say, Come and prove it. Come and say it. Come and say it. Make your case. 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 What are your cases? Ah, make it now. Make it now. Remember, Jesus became guilty. That you that is guilty. Master become guiltless. The guiltless became guilty. I was guilty. Guilty. Now you that is guilty shall become guiltless. The blood of Jesus was shed for you and I. The mother, the mother, they killed him for your sake. Therefore, you have a case. You have a case in court. A case has been dismissed. You have a judgment. You have a judgment. Because Jesus was killed for you. Jesus died for you. Devil cannot kill you again. Devil cannot maim you again. Devil cannot stop you again. Because somebody died for you. Jesus became your ransom. You will not to pay not anymore. You can't pay for anything twice. You can't pay for anything twice. It's in, it is anti commodity to pay for something twice. You cannot pay for commodity twice. Jesus was a ransom. He paid himself for you, for your freedom. Then why should you be under bondage? Why should you be sick? Why should you go to failure? Why? That's a case. You have a case. You have a case. I have a case. Why should your children be sick? Jesus died for your children. Why should they be sick? Why should they go to failure? Jesus died for them. I have a case. I have a case. I have a case. Do you have a case? 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 Zabaka does a case. 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 Zabaka does a case.
In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Friends, nobody pays for commodity twice. Jesus has paid it for you. Ultimate payment. He paid for you. paid everything for you. So anybody come to ask to pay again is a liar. He took your sickness and paid for it. Do you know he paid for your sickness? He paid for it. That means you will not be sick anymore. <laughs> he paid for your suffering. So you will be free from suffering. He paid for your peace. So you have peace all your life. These are things that Jesus paid for. But they will still come to attack you. Friends, shut up have a case. Have a case to make. Oh, make your case. The devil can't kill me. I cannot be sick. You can't kill my husband. You can't kill my wife. You can't kill my children. Have a case to make. Have a case to make. Have a case to make. Zabragada la gada la gada. Lebragada 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 la gada. Oh, pull your mouth and make your case. Oh, pull your mouth and make your case. Devil is a liar. You can't keep you suffering. Can't keep you on your property. Can't keep you on your pain. Let me go to you pay for this long. Go to you for this long. Make your case. Make your case. Make your case. The Bible says, bring your case. Bring your case. Bring your strong case. Bring your strong case. Bring your strong case. What are your cases, sir? I got a lot of other Lagada, the 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 Lag
The Bible said it was unbeautiful. No. God wants to present a strong case. What makes your case strong is Jesus. The blood. What he did on the cross. Present your strong case. What is the case that moves against you? Present your own case. I say, God, I cannot go through pain anymore because himself took it. Am I coming to He said, by his strife, I am healed. I, 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 I was wounded for my transgressions. Peace for my iniquities. The chastisement that brought me peace was put upon him. And by his strife, I am healed. I cannot be sick. My husband can be sick. My children cannot be sick. Produce your strong reason. My children can be sick. My family cannot be sick. Produce your strong reason. What are your strong reasons? Why you should be healthy? Why you should be free from poverty? And I will say, in between, he was rich. Though he was rich, he became poor. So that through his poverty, he become rich. <laughs> Based on this case, I cannot be poor. 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 Power of God. Friends, it is impossible, in fact, impossible for any devil to stop you. Because a case has been made and you have a court judgment. It's in your hands. And what are the court judgment? The Bible. <laughs> Come on, try for Jesus. Bible is your court judgment. So anybody working against you is working against the court judgment. So it's illegal for you to go through what you're going through now. Illegal. It's anti-scripture. Jesus said, scripture can be broken. Am I communicating? <laughs> That's why I know that from today, the Bible say he, became, he was rich through, say, through his poverty. He became poor that through his poverty he become rich. That's why I know from today, every financial limitation is dead. Every financial problem is dead. Amen. Every financial difficulty is dead. Amen. Every financial embargo is dead. Amen. I command every financial embargo be lifted. 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 Be lifted now. In the name of Jesus. I just saw somebody holding the gold. Gold, gold. I don't want to mention. I saw it somewhere. I don't want to mention it because. So I want to spray. Open your palm. Wherever. I like a wash. I release gold. Gold, gold to your hands. Those of you on YouTube, Facebook. Everywhere. I release gold. I see gold. I see gold in your hands. Gold, gold, gold. God is changing your status. Every limitation over your life is here by destroyer. I destroy every limitation of your life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is holding the gold. Gold, gold. Shut up, I'm the one. Shut up, I'm the one. Shut up, I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one. Receive it now. Those of you on YouTube and Facebook, come. Everywhere, receive it now. Receive it now. Financial lifting. Receive financial lifting. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Father, I have spoken your word. My time is fast, friend. I have told them they have cases to make. And this case has been settled a long time ago. But devil still come to come around to make God feel as if the case is still there. No, the case has been settled at the Supreme Court of Heaven. Finalize everything, finalize. Huh? Therefore, devil comes around to make, make us feel somehow that we still have a case. Huh? The case has been done and finalized in the Supreme Court of Heaven. Therefore, we are free. Our victories are guaranteed. Our victory in Christ are guaranteed. Our victory in Christ are guaranteed. Our victory in Christ are guaranteed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Receive your victories. Receive your victories. Receive your victories. Receive your victories. In the name of Jesus. You can't be sick anymore. You can't be sick anymore. Your family can't be sick anymore. Your children can't be sick anymore. In the name of Jesus. If you are sick, be here now. If you are sick, be here now. If you are sick, be here now. In the name of Jesus. I command that pain to go now. In the name of Jesus. I command that sickness to go now. In the name of Jesus. I command that pro trouble to go now. In the name of Jesus. I command you receive your miracles. Receive your miracles. Receive your miracles. Receive your miracles. Now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Go. 
you are discharged. Amen. Go, you are acquitted. Amen. Go, you are discharged. Amen. Go, you are free. Amen. Go, you are free. Amen. Go, you are free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Amen. 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 Some of you that have pain, I feel pain, some pain is gone. Some of you have pain. You can't discuss about the, these cases without you being free from pain. I see pain gone. I see sorrow gone. I see heaviness, heaviness upon you. You came here with heaviness. I see heaviness lifted. No, no, I'm a Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Be exalted, be lifted, be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Children, please come over here, come over here. Quickly, quickly. Zoom, la, 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 la. Oh, Father, a case has been established that this one will grow in his grace, his majesty, and no power can stop them. A case has been established. A case has been established in Christ Jesus. Ransom has been paid. Ransom has been paid. A case has been established. No devil can touch them. No devil can touch them. A case has been established. A case has been established. No, ransom, no devil can touch them. Ransom has been made. Ransom has been paid for them. Azul Bragadosha by ransom has been paid for them. A case has been established. A case has been established. Our victory is sure. Our victories are sure. Ransom, ransom, ransom. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. Be exalted, be glorified. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us open our mouth and begin to thank God for our brother, the Lord, that used him mightily to bless us tonight. Open your mouth and begin to shower blessings upon him, upon his life, upon his family. Pray that 